In May 2014, PowerSmart was awarded a $35 million renewable energy project by the New Zealand Aid Program in partnership with the governments of the Cook Islands and Tuvalu. Hi, I'm Mike Bassett-Smith, the Managing Director of PowerSmart Solar. The project aimed to install 12 off-grid solar power stations across 10 remote South Pacific atolls. Eight of these systems in the northern Cook Islands and four of these systems in the islands of Tuvalu. The system was 1.9 megawatts of solar with 18 megawatts of battery storage and it's going to save both countries about half a million liters of diesel each year that used to be required to power their diesel generators. Projects like this are logistically challenging. These projects had over 10,000 tons of freight that needed to be transported to these remote atolls. The freight was made up of almost 8,000 solar panels, 153 inverters and almost 4,000 batteries each weighing 150 kilograms. As none of these atolls have anything close to modern port infrastructure, we needed to pack all the freight into one-ton parcels that need to be manually offloaded a floating ship onto floating barges and then delivered through tiny reef passes to the actual atoll. The freight is then offloaded from the barges using uh, diggers and cranes that we shipped up to these atolls and transported there to the project site. When we undertake these projects, we are always ready and prepared for some level of unexpected. That's simply the nature of doing projects like this in remote Pacific atolls. This time, we ran into Cyclone Pam, one of the largest cyclones in South Pacific history and a storm that did enormous damage to the country of Vanuatu. I just want to give our viewers just a sense of how strong the cyclone is. We've got a map with a visualization of global weather conditions, which was created by earth.nullschool.net. Uh, and we can see it there. That red uh, spot in the middle is Vanuatu, and you can see the uh, just the strength of the winds uh, around. Here. Luckily, the storm didn't come straight over Tuvalu, but large swells from the storm created all kinds of problems for our project. The swells actually destroyed many of the uh, access channels and and landing infrastructure that we use to land our equipment, and caused delays for a number of islands. Thankfully, we worked in concert with the government of Tuvalu, the New Zealand government, and technical experts throughout the area to clear those channels, repair the landing facilities, and restart our program. In December of 2015, we commissioned the last island of Niatau, and that completed the Tuvalu project about one year after start, including delays from the cyclone. So now, 12 very remote Pacific Island communities have 24-7 renewable electricity. Our systems generate power by harnessing sunshine, not by importing barrels of diesel. Our systems are also far more reliable than the old diesel generators, who are often run on intermittent programs like three hours in the morning and three hours at night, and otherwise off for the rest of the day. These new solar power systems enable all sorts of improved services for the people of the islands. They now have 24-7 electricity, which provides simple but little benefits like reading at night, uh, fans on, and 24-7 refrigeration. But on a larger scale, they can now export fish without fear of spoilage, store medicines, and don't have to deal with the environmental impacts of importing drums of diesel. In November 2015, PowerSmart was awarded the best solar power installation with storage by the Sustainable Electricity Association of New Zealand.